Fixing aluminum is actually a lot easier than it used to be when we had copper and aluminum together. The copper needed a lot more heat as we tried to repair it, and the aluminum doesn't need as much heat, and all being that same material, actually, in my opinion, makes it a lot easier to do that repair. This one actually has the flux inside of the rod. Now I'm gonna fix this hole using air acetylene. I'm gonna clean this with a stainless steel brush to get the aluminum prepped and ready to go. And I did a little bit excessive on there. I got a little bit too much on, but that's all it takes. It's nice and quick, easy to do, all in one step. Now we're gonna fix this joint, which we've already prepped by cleaning it with the needle nose pliers, but we're still gonna use our stainless steel brush and prep that aluminum. And for this example, we're gonna use a propane torch. Now you can see how when we did this, it heated up and melted those aluminum fins. You are going to lose efficiency with your coil doing that. But in some cases, we don't have a lot of options. We do need to communicate with our customer, but you can see that we were able to fix this leak inside this coil.